Hey, what's going on? This is the day in the life. I really wanted to put together a video that shows exactly what goes on from the media perspective. I know you see us on YouTube, you read our material, but you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. So this is a, a day in the life. And uh, Tony Sukalis and myself, this is exactly what we do during the Alabama home game. Usually, uh, Tony picks me up when we get to the stadium about three hours before. That's when they allow the media to enter the stadium. So this is Tony and I right now driving to Brian Denny. And as you can see, we're gonna have a pretty good parking space. But I mean, today was a very cool day because it's Alabama versus Tennessee. So you got a ton of fans in attendance, a ton of, of volunteer fans. So you can see their orange shirts right there to the top left. And they, you know, they had a pretty good amount, but there's a little bit of traffic, as you can see, even at, this is probably like 4.45 and now we're approaching our parking spot so they give us a parking pass you hand the pass off to the parking attendant and then i mean you've seen it before right you just roll on up and you park so that's kind of what we do and um then from here it's about i would say uh you know it's it's right around close to five o'clock so here's the stadium we walk to the stadium i carry a big tripod and i carry my bag I have to carry the tripod because I am the one who conducts the Nick Saban press conference. I at least puts everything together behind the scenes. Tony, you know, is our team rider, so he just has to worry about his computer. Although he did take my tripod up. So right now it's about 5.15. So we go on over to gate three, and this is where all the media goes. And this is where you check in. I like to come out, and then I like to get sights and sounds. So this right here is the walk of champions and as you can see it was packed a little drizzly for alabama and tennessee didn't rain thankfully and then i like to um, sometimes i'll cruise usually i don't do this but for this particular video i wanted to kind of walk the entire quad and kind of show you um the scenes i'm sorry i don't have an image stabilizer so it might be a little bit shaky but this will give you a good depiction of how many people are outside of bryant denny stadium on game day really cool i mean i can't even imagine being a college student and having this type of environment to hang out to party to just be with your friends and then of course alabama is just straight rolling on the football side so i'm walking right now from brian denny and i'm going into the quad and as you can see it's completely packed there's just so many people i've made it to the quad right now and i'm walking through tailgate madness there's just the the tailgate because i'm not from sec country so I, I didn't know that this even existed of course i've been to a tailgate before but not to you know this magnitude i think this this tailgate um, the tailgate in Baton Rouge. I mean, these are tailgates that are of thousands and thousands of people. I've heard that could be 30,000, 40,000 people tailgating. And I mean, just so many Crimson Tide fans. There's some volunteers set up as well, but it's a lot of people having a good time, getting their drink on, watching other football games. I mean, there's TVs out here. There's electricity. People are barbecuing. I mean, it, it's done right in Alabama and it's done right on the quad. And as you can see, it's just packed. There's tons of cornhole and where i'm from we didn't really really even play cornhole so it's pretty cool to now um have cornhole in my repertoire of uh party games so i i was just taking a cruise and just kind of filming the sights and the sounds and it's just it's packed with just tons of people from all over the area and just having a good time it's something that i really like to just uh go and cruise out usually when i if i bring my if i bring my father or my mother i will bring them out here we don't you know i we don't really bring the kids out to the tailgate or anything like that but it's it's cool to be a part of and i'm sure that if you're an alabama crimson tide alumni or you just want to you know put this on your bucket list to come check out an alabama football game going to the quad tailgating is certainly something that you have to do and i would certainly recommend it so now i'm getting uh this next video i'm I'm getting to the stadium so i've walked past gate 15 that's where the media goes we check in i like to actually you know get some steps in get get my walk on because i know for the most most of the day i'm going to be sitting so i actually come this way you can take the elevator up to the seventh floor and um, this is the route that i go in i like to come into the stadium and i like to go right down on the field and um, that's what i'm doing right here i'm walking right in from the gate and i'm going right to the field and this is well before you know the team has even come out onto the field there's not even specialists working out or anything like that it's just me 
Um, coming down to the stadium, I usually like to take a panoramic picture from the bottom of the field. I think it's just cool. I mean, you're at the bottom of Brian Denny Stadium. I mean, this isn't, you know, I don't get tired of being here. I don't get tired of doing this. I mean, I, I can't believe that I'm here and have the opportunity just to to be at the stadium and, and to be around Alabama Crimson Tide football. I mean, it's, it's truly an honor, honestly. So I like to come down here and kind of just scope it out. Usually I'll tweet a picture from my um, personal Twitter account and recirculate it. Sometimes I'll try to tag James Spann, see if he'll give me a nice retweet because he has like, what, 200,000 followers or something like that. All right. So um, as I said, you know, I, I like to I like to get the walk in. So now what I do is I actually walk up, um, you know, the long windy ramp all the way to the seventh floor. And sometimes I'll just I'll stop and take some pictures from here. And as you can see, that's me getting my walk on. And there's a uh, Westgate Luxury Apartments, as you can see, they're one of our sponsors. So I continue to walk up. It takes me a little bit of time, but I don't mind it. I, I like to get the walk in, like to get the exercise, and um, I'll do the same thing on the way back down. It doesn't bother me. So, and I just kind of cruise up, get my thoughts together, you know, think about the things that I have to do for the rest of the day. Make sure that you know everything is in working order on the website on BamInsider.com. Just kind of get my mind right, get into it. Um, now I've made it and I'm actually in the media suite. You're going to see that next. So you got to go in here and they give you the pass. So you have to flash your pad, flash your pass to the lady right there. And, um, now I'm in the media suite and the media suite, I think is really nice. I guess it's going to change. They're going to, um, put us on the opposite side, which I'm not really looking forward to because I think it's, it's a pretty nice setup that Alabama has in here. I mean, everything you want, they have two buffet lines. Um, there's a lot of people up in here before uh, the game. This is early, too. I mean, you still have three hours before, and I get it because you have to get there before traffic. But they have these buffet lines set up, and I'm going to show you the food in just a second. But they really take care of the media, which I sincerely appreciate. I mean, it wasn't a couple years ago. I was just covering high school games, and you were lucky to get a slice of pizza, right, or or some nachos or something like that. And here's, here's the food that I had, macaroni, cheese, carrots, potatoes. I don't eat meat, so... Um, sometimes living, I mean, they, Alabama has a hot dog, um, halftime bar. So everybody gets their hot dog on that. It's actually a chili cheese dog bar. And, you know, they're, they pretty much have whatever you want. They have today they had, um, I believe it was some apple pie as well. They always have a dessert. They have tons of chips. Um, they have, I mean, water, soda, whatever. It's great. I, I really like it. And, you know, the people are, are very, very friendly. Here's my working station. So now I'm going up. Here's I'm on level seven. Um, there's Tony right there on his computer. And then I'm right there, right in the center. And got, I mean, look at the setup, right? I mean, I'm literally on the 50 yard line. Like that's my view, what you're seeing right there. So um, you set up your computer, your computer, you put everything together and you just kind of, you know, you, you have some time to kill. So you can watch some games on your computer or you can go get somebody to eat. Get everything set up on the website and BatmanInsider.com. I like to make sure, of course, that the message board is taken care of. And then you kind of just soak it in, get ready for the event, um, the rest of the night. And for the next few hours, obviously, we're watching the football game. I mean, this is my viewpoint. This is a photo that I took during the Alabama and Tennessee game. That's the million dollar band, as you can see. So you got three hours where you're just working, you're observing, and it's what I try to do is really take the game in without just being on my computer. It's hard not to. Um, so now I've made it down to the post game area. And as you can see, everyone, you know, I'm, I'm one of the first ones there because I have to make sure that my tripod is set up. As you can see, all the TV tripods are set up. So you got to plug your, your cords in, make sure your audio is good. Here's actually my setup right here. Um, so you put your computer, you take your computer from the top. Now you put it on the, on the bottom and you set it up. I'm going to do some work right here. Make sure that, uh, you know, the message board is taken care of. Maybe throw up a tweet. Look at the stats. Make sure that the stat line is ready. Kind of get everything ready because you have to worry about the audio. I have to do, um, you know, all the graphics all the graphics that you see on BamInsider.com. I make sure that all those graphics look good. And then here's me actually working. This is Nick Saban's press conference. And as you can see, there's a ton of media members. And we got a lot of media here in um, Tuscaloosa. A lot of people don't want to talk to Nick Saban, don't want to hear about the Alabama Crimson Tide. And 
I, I kind of wish this would change actually how they do the, the scrum. So there's so many people, it's almost impossible to get a good vantage point. There's Tony to the right. And whenever you watch our player interviews and you're always talking about the audio, I mean, look, trying to get audio in that is almost impossible. And then um, it's almost 1 a.m. and you can see all these people still grinding, still producing the content that you're going to read uh, the next day when you get home. And then um, this, is, I, I'm actually shooting this right now at 3.30 a.m and um the the post game podcast that you listen to i this is what i'm doing i'm knocking it out right here so checking the levels reading my notes and putting together the podcast for your enjoyment so you can get the content the quality content that you deserve well i hope you enjoyed a day in the life i just this is something i always wanted to do i really wanted to give everyone a behind the scenes tour of how things work at bandmateinsider.com i hope you like it please give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure and subscribe to our channel. We'd sincerely appreciate it. I'll catch you guys soon. And uh, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thanks for watching.